Hey YouTubers, this is Platt, and we're continuing on with our beer style series. Uh, we're wrapping up today the stout section of the series with probably the most popular stout, the Irish Dry Stout. Let's go over the numbers real quick. SRM 35 to 40, IBUs are 30 to 40. ABV, we're going to range from 3.8 to roughly around 6% alcohol by volume. And temperature wise, we want to serve this beer at 50 to 55. Um, Probably the simplest way to describe an Irish dry stout is it's a dry black beer with dry roasty character. Uh, obviously, color-wise, this beer is going to be black. Uh, these beers tend to pour a little opaque, but there's there's kind of a range to the beer. So if you see something a little clearer, while we're don't don't be shocked by that. Um, the alcohol on these beers is not really noticeable. There's other flavors going to kind of dominate. Um, for hop aroma and hop flavor, they're going to be very low on this style of beer. Where this style of beer kind of is a little different than the other stouts is you're going to get more hop bitterness. Uh, we're going to tend to be on the medium, medium plus range. And this likes a little different than like your oatmeal stouts or whatever. Um, the unique character of this beer comes from roasted, unmalted barley. And that that's what gives us that dry, roasty note and uh, kind of sharpens the beer a little bit in, in a roundabout way. Um, as far as the malt itself, malt character itself, it's predominantly coffee. That's what really comes out. You might get some other malty notes, maybe a little caramel, but coffee kind of dominates the flavor. Um, the ale yeast will produce some uh, fruity esters, but that gets dominated by the malt, so you're really not uh, going to notice it. Uh, Body-wise, you have kind of a wider range on this beer. You can go from soft to medium plus on the body, but we're going to tend to lean more toward the softer end, uh, body-wise. Carbonation, these beers tend to be low to medium carbonated, but what what I do have to note on the carbonation is you can have it carbonated with CO2 or you can get nitrogen, uh, kind of like the coffee stout we drink. So if you get a dry stout that's been carbonated with nitrogen, you're going to get a little more creaminess to it. Also, it produces a unique head. Uh, just something to look, look for. Be, uh, finish wise, these beers tend to be a short to medium on their uh, finish. Uh, food wise, we're going to pair these with oysters and chocolate desserts. Uh, the particular one we're going to try today is the Guinness Extra Stout. And uh, Guinness produces probably the most popular stout in the world. Um, probably the one most of you might out there drink is actually the Guinness Draft Stout. Uh, that comes in at 4.2% ABV. This particular one comes in at 5.6%, so this is a little more ramped up uh, dry stout. So let's, oh, and one note about Guinness, the brewery itself was founded by Arthur Guinness, who became, began his brewing career at St. James Gate Brewery in uh, 1759. So let's give her a try. All right. This particular one is not nitrogen. Uh, holding up to the light, it's fairly opaque. We got a nice, good finger width of. Uh, a slightly darker khaki head. Let's give her a nose. Oh yeah, you pick up the malt, you pick up a little bit of the coffee. No hops. Um, definitely some roasty notes. Let's give her a try. Oh yeah, it's nice. A uh, little sweetness Small sweetness on the tongue, but it's the more I get a little bit of bitterness. I get some more action mid tongue. Um, the the roasty notes are there. Um, not quite. When I talk coffee notes, we're not quite getting into to the espresso end of the thing. So uh, this is more just like a nice. Um, kind of mid-range coffee, nothing to the extremes. Uh, Body-wise, this goes down nice and easy. This is a very drinkable beer. Um, 
there's enough hops on this where if you're trying to get some introduce someone to these styles of stouts and they're looking for something sweeter or they like you know that they might like the oatmeal stout or you know something like that this has enough hop bite to it where I'm not sure they would necessarily get into it um, yeah you definitely get a little more of it in the back the uh, finish I'm gonna say what I get is more on the medium end yeah it's there like I said it just it just takes a little bit to work back on the tongue but it's not lingering and like I said part of that's because of the body overall this is a real good beer this is very drinkable beer uh, especially now that we're going to the fall um, I've always been a fan of the dry Irish stout myself um, like I said just something that that goes down uh, nice and easy has some character but it's not too viscous there's hops there that balance them all overall just good beer well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always leave them in the comment section, or you can contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.